peace to the family. Are y'all ready? Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm doing this so you can follow. Hey, what's good, cuz? I'm doing this so you can follow these steps. Free advice. Anybody that's taking my classes, you need to know this. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're releasing the entrepreneur course and we're releasing the continuation of the master course that's tomorrow 6 p.m pacific standard time you'll receive it in your emails those of you that never took the course the master course consists of 33 pdfs that are templates to letters and affidavits that will be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of removing negative items off your report adding positive items to your report boosting your credit score seeing to it that you get approved for larger lines of credit if you have uh, outstanding debt we're talking 60,000, 80,000, 100,000. You can sign up for our credit restoration microwave, the CRM. That does cost 3,000. The master cost 250. The do it yourself master cost is 250. But if your outstanding debt is just ridiculous and you got a lot of stuff weighing on you, yes, that's $3,000 credit restoration microwave. The only thing we ask of you, because we do the work, is that you do a video. This is how we point it down. <clears throat> I'm the only one doing these types of testimonials. You're going to do a video stating that you just paid for it, who you paid, which would be me, and that I have a month and a half to remove everything off that report of yours and to see to it that lines of credit and credit card availability would be issued back to you. The goal is to get you at seven figures. Let's say one-tenth of a million. It's more powerful when you say one-tenth of a million because now you only have nine-tenths left to be a millionaire. Everybody's entitled to this type of money. The problem is everyone is entitled to the type of education. That's where the disconnect comes in. I'm doing it this way. So when you pay for the credit restoration microwave, that's $3,000, and we remove all the negative items off your report, boost your credit score, boost your wealth score quotient, boost your, boost your advantage score, your FICO score. When all of that gets on the level and you're able to be approved for at least one-tenth of a mil, what I'm asking of you is once you make the payment, I need you to do a video. Say you just paid. Say the date. Say your name, your city, and state, and give the people an email so they can check or get a progress report of the work that I'm doing for you. That's right. I want you to leave an email out there not so you can give people consultations. I'm not asking you to go out your way. And people, people will inevitably hit you up. Yo, <clears throat> so how does it work? What is he telling you to do? That's not what I'm telling you to do. You don't have to be obligated to kill your time like that. They can get more out of these free streams. And people will still attempt to reach out to you. <clears throat> All I want is for you to confirm that you made the payment, the date and time that you made the payment. And from a month and a half forward, people can check up on you for a progress report because I'm going to post it on my channel and I'm going to ask you to post it on yours. I want you to post it and say, hey, I just paid Brother Polite for the credit restoration microwave. You could say you paid the three grand or you could say you just paid me. It doesn't matter. But make it clear inside of a month and a half, you're expecting to see all of the negative items removed. Not some. All of them removed. <clears throat> That's right. I don't care if it's $80,000 or $100,000 you owe. It doesn't matter. What I do is so powerful. In addition to that, if I don't remove all the negative items off your report, I will give you back not only the 3000 but 1000 on top of it. That's how good I am. Now, it doesn't get any better than that. There's not one person claiming to fix credit, repair credit. There's not one person that has you do a video prior to the work and say, community, check up on me in a month and a half and see if everything got done. In addition to that, I will work with you to ensure that you at least get 
one tenth of a million through credit. <clears throat> yes, even hospital bills. Yes, even student loan. Yes, even child support. You see, people ask the same questions all the time, and I'm gonna make it very clear. <clears throat> so you see, our people are so, some of our people are so slow and so damn retarded. You can even tell them after you make the payment. Now what I could do is just charge. I don't have to have you do a video. So what the hell would make someone say, yo, that sounds suspect. The fact that I'm telling you to do a video and say you got paid, pardon me, say that you paid me and give me a month and a half time and leave your name and email out there so people can email you to get a progress report to see if I did what I did. Now someone's mad that I'm giving you that opportunity. And after I do the work, then I'm gonna ask of you to do one more thing. And that's just to do a video with the updated credit score. <laughs> do the video confirming I knocked out everything. But you see, people talk all this credit stuff and I do this and do that. I'm not here to knock people, but let it be clear. The people that I see doing, they look raggedy as hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, look, people, you know, it's just interesting because when I do what I do, then people want to tell you, I've been doing this. <clears throat> oh. That's evil, you charging three grand? Yo fam, whoever got you in debt at $100,000, whoever got you in debt at $200,000, they're evil. Bankruptcy as well. That's correct, doesn't matter. You see? Because while our brain fish, yo, you know, something ain't right about it. Explain what isn't right. I could explain what is act what actually is right. I could explain what's right. Okay, you don't know that we have a five year window to remove all negative items if done properly. That's why the price is like there. Because it takes more than certain affidavits and templates <clears throat> as far as procedure is concerned to remove debt that's that outstanding. But we got a five year window because the credit bureaus have done some very illegal things as far as sending your information out to other people. In the manner in which they get your information or have retrieved your information, they're in trouble. So, you could say it's not right that I'm charging three grand. I could say it's not right that you owe 100,000, you owe 30,000, and you don't want to pay me three. <clears throat> but chances are you'll never pay that debt back off again for the rest of your life anyway. So, <clears throat> if your debt isn't that heavy, and you're looking at like five, ten thousand dollars or what have you, or you just need to make sure you know how to maintain your credit, or you need to find out how to get a little bit more funding, or how to get larger lines of credit from your credit card. Get it as soon as you can get it. Because when I'm busy, I'm busy. Right now, I'm getting it in. Right now, I'm getting it in. <clears throat> yeah, what you do, you email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. I pinned it to the top. All you got to do is go to brotherpolight45 at gmail.com. <clears throat> brotherpolight45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number. Yes. Oh, because this is my goal. <clears throat> it's 2020. When 2021 comes in, you mark my words. By New Year's Eve of next year, maybe even my birthday. Okay, that's my New Year's. Maybe by my birthday. By my birthday time, August 10th. I want to be able to organize a group of people that have helped. And then let's pool our funds. Let me help you get six figures. And then let me get a group of people that help get six figures. And maybe that'll be the portion of the black community that actually has some funds to put to pool their funds to do something real nice for our community. If I help you get a hundred thousand dollars plus and show you how to generate new streams of income, you shouldn't have a problem throwing five, ten thousand dollars into a, a group fund or a private equity group because that helped put you in a position to get six figures and maintain it, if not grow it to seven figures. So my goal is to create a scenario where I personally know I created or I've added value to the people that would be pooling their funds. See, I don't want to ask the black community, let's put our money together and put it into this. 
what I want to do is loan myself the credibility by creating an opportunity for the black community to get money. Because every 10 people that I help means I've added at least a million dollars value to the community. 20 people, $2 million. You see how, you see how that works? You see how that works? 100 people would be $10 million I added value to the community. I would hope <clears throat> by my birthday time I could say I've added $10 million value to the community by creating opportunities for us to have 100 grand upwards. Removing debt and then putting you in the plus 100,000. Who's doing that? And on top of it, when you pay me, I want you to do a video. 30 to 60 seconds long, say your first, last name, city, and state, your credit score, and how much debt you in. And say that Brother Polite said, per my payment, that in a month and a half, my credit will be wiped clean, and I'll be back in a position to not only receive credit cards, but larger lines of credit. You know, two credit cards of $50,000 is 100 grand. If you know how to invest your money, you'll be straight by the end of the year. Real talk. Facts. <laughs> it doesn't bother me none. I'm good money, people. So this is what I can do for the community. Now, as far as the free information, I'll give you the free information right now. As far as the free information. Yes, this Sunday, this Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be picking up the continuation of the master course. And this Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll also be releasing the entrepreneur course. The entrepreneur course is $250, discounted rate. I teach parents and children, but you don't have to be a parent or a child, but it's designed for parents and children <clears throat> to make monies off of three different streams of income with your range between one to $3,000 on a month-to-month -month basis. You'll make one to three thousand dollars on a month-to-month -month basis. Three different streams of income. You get a PowerPoint and you get the matching video, the corresponding video. All you have to do is click the video on the link. That costs two hundred and fifty dollars. <throat> you just hit me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name, your phone number, and the service that you're interested in. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so long as the payment arrangements are credible, because it actually costs for me to do what I got to do, Corey Staples. So you can't be like, yo, fam, can I give you a buck fifty for that? So that's not going to work. <clears throat> we can't nickel and dime this situation. You're changing your life. Okay, so now also you have what's called the master course, which our main point of focus is if you sent me an email, you got to leave your full name and your phone number. Perhaps it got overlooked because you didn't leave your full name or phone number. But nonetheless, Anna Marie, Anna Marie Bowles, what you can do is send the email right now and say it's Anna Marie Bowles from Facebook. And I'll make sure that someone, uh, I'll make sure I personally touch base. Kevin Ebony, please, you don't have to keep doing that. Just send an email and wait for us to respond to your e email. Kevin and Ebony. Because what's going to happen is the Facebook, after you put the same type of message over and over, they'll block you. Not, not permanently, but you won't be able to leave comments. <clears throat> So if you get wild over zealous, keep putting the same thing over and over and over, you're going to find yourself suspended and they're not going to let you do it because they're going to think that it's some kind of spam or robot. Yeah, so Anna Marie, make sure you leave your full name and your phone number and the service. But for your subject, say this is Anna Marie Bowles from Facebook and I'll make sure we touch base with you. i make you one of my first calls. I always call like 10, 10 people when I get off in case I don't make no more calls for the day. But somebody will call y'all. If y'all if touch base, somebody will touch base with you when I'm done with this uh, stream. Here's some instructions. Oh yeah, the credit restoration. Uh, the master course entails credit restoration. You learn about taxing, tax deed, and insurance, but the main point of focus is credit restoration. That's the do-it-yourself uh, work. That's if you ain't got too much outstanding debt, you wanna improve your credit score status, you wanna find out how to sustain it, you wanna find out what, what gives you points and what builds the points up. You're interested in that, you do that. If, you try, if, if you're over there, with nice credit, good credit, 700 and something score, 750, but that you still not getting significant lines of credit, the credit cost is for you. That's $250. That's a fact. 
Yes, for two fifty. $250, that's the credit restoration. That's the master course, and inside the master course is credit restoration. The credit restoration microwave, the CRM, that's when it costs $3,000. The course is $250. The entrepreneur course where I teach you three streams of income that makes you one to $3,000 is a one-day course. It's this Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's $250. The master course is $250. Teach you about tax liens, tax deeds, insurance but our main point of focus is credit restoration you get 33 pdfs that are templates to letters and affidavits that will be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike i also give you strategy procedure on mailing how to boost your credit score how to add positive items to your report okay that's 250 dollars the credit restoration microwave is three thousand that's when we do it for you we remove all the negative items and we put you in a position to make sure that you get access to six figures minimum Okay? Yes. Doesn't matter if you got student loans. Doesn't matter if it's a hospital bill. Doesn't matter if you were bankrupt or about to be bankrupt or your house been foreclosed. None of that matters. Once you pay the 3K and you do the, and then I'm going to ask you, okay, you paid me, follow these instructions, and you do this, that, and the dirt. And I'm going to go over some of the instructions you guys could do right now. But I need you to do a video. When you pay for the credit restoration microwave, I need you to do a video and I need you to say, hey, I paid, Brother Polite. Today is Saturday. <clears throat> say the date, say the time, and in a month and a half, I'm expecting the following. My credit score is presently, I owe this much in debt. And then, you leave your email out there. Yep, 3K. That's for the credit restoration microwave. The master course is 250. That's where you do it yourself, and we can we can knock out those bills and those debts if you're owing six thousand, eight thousand, all that. And if you want to maintain your credit, boost your credit, get higher approvals, you take the master course for two fifty. But if you got outstanding debt, oh, thank you, Wise Davis. So Wise must be in the course. He said my templates are fire. Thank you, brother. <clears throat> yes. So when people say, "Yo, three K, why three K?" If you owe $80,000, if you owe $50,000, if you owe $60,000, if you owe $100,000 plus, most people who owe, whether they're in London or Canada or America, most people that owe money, over $50,000, never pay it in this lifetime. They stay in debt and they only accumulate more debt. And being in that level of debt makes everything more expensive for you. Some people could go to the dealership, get a car, and don't have to pay for the car to the next year. Other people go to the dealership and have to pay way more money, even though they make lesser money than the other people who pay lesser money to get the car. <clears throat> if you have $38,000 in debt, you can still take the master course. <clears throat> you can still boost your score and all that. But it'd be ideal that you get the credit restoration microwave. Because it all depends too. Because my thing is this. If you are just focused on moving your debt, that's one thing. You take definitely take the master course. It will put you in a good position. Do it yourself step by step. Guaranteed results. But if you're interested in removing your debt and also getting money in place of it so you can get right back to work. You talking, let me tell you something. If someone told me in six weeks, they'll put me in a position where I could get one-tenth of a million. I like saying one-tenth of a million because it lets me know that I got nine more tenths to go to be a millionaire. And I think we all can agree, if you got one-tenth of a million, one shot, instead of waiting X amount of time to accumulate it after you done spent some of it, invested some of it, lost some of it, used some for obligation. I, I believe we all agree, if we all got a chance to get one-tenth of a million, one shot, we'd probably never be broke again. Because this time around, we'll make sure we do what we need to do. Because I'm going to tell you about money. Making $100,000 a year versus getting $100,000 at one time is two different things. You could do more if you get it at one shot than you would be able to do if you got it spread out. I think we all can agree on that. Okay, there's more abundance and opportunities. Opportunities are more abundant. <clears throat> okay, so you gotta email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, and that's the thing, because what you got to understand is you got what's called the wealth score quotient, you got what's called advantage score, you got what's called the FICO score, you got what's called the CDAs, consumer data aggregates. There's a lot of, I'm good, baby. There's a lot of, there's a lot of information that they don't teach you about. So you have people that have 750 scores and less privilege or given less opportunities than people who got 680 scores. And there's a reason behind that because your file is too slim. So yes, even though you've maintained a good amount of credit, you've only maintained a good amount of credit through three or four mediums where other people may have a lower score, but they got 10 different genres that meet the criteria as far as loaning you credibility or as far as the predictability as a consumer in retrospect to the risk. Okay, so here's some steps that I need you guys to take. Tomorrow's class, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're gonna go super hard. See, that's a good question. What is the FICO score? I think on the next stream, we'll do that. Let's go over what a FICO score is next stream, Lexus, Nexus, Check Systems, Advantage Score, Wealth Score Quotient. Let's do all of that on another stream. And let's get that out the way. And those of you that's worried about the free information I'm giving, don't worry about it. There's so much information out there that they haven't taught us. This is light. What I need everyone to do, first and foremost, those of you... Yeah, I mean, I don't blame somebody for asking. Because, shit, they'll never know if they don't ask. Conversations or consultations are $200 an hour or $300 an hour over the phone. When you make the payment, I send you some questions. So I could be debriefed on your specific interests and needs. And then in my evaluation, I could put together a curriculum of some sorts that caters specifically to you. So this means that I'll do my, my homework or I'll put certain incentives together, certain suggestions, certain networks of people you may need to connect with, websites, mailing address, whatever it is that you would need. And then that optimizes the experience. So by the time we do the consultation, I won't have to cut into your time dealing with that which should have been prerequisite. That's right. It all depends. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, depending on what it is you're looking to learn, <clears throat> it may not suffice to pay 200 You may not see the reality in it. Depending on what another person needs to know, they see the reality of the 200 because they'll yield way more than 200 from it. They may be saving their life based on health. I had a person recently pay me for a consultation just about uh, their libido, brothers. <clears throat> okay? And so testosterone was the main point of focus. If you don't have 200, you simply save up or you ask questions when I'm doing free live streams. That's how that works, you know. Uh, but that's the price, and that's, I'm saying that respectfully, always respectfully, you know. I'm not going to sugarcoat or pussyfoot around it because the information I'm about to give you for free, it helps you set up what you're about to do in the future, <clears throat> okay? I mean, shit. Them student loans was you paying money for information. <laughs> Tens of thousands of dollars. You got people owing 80000 from student loans. The people I'd be helping out would be crazy. The course is not over. We're continuing the course tomorrow, Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. How can you add positive items to your credit report? You use the templates that I give you in the class as well as the instructions. And I give you a bunch of different ways you can add positive items to your report to boost your credit score. I'm going to be on the live two or three times today because I'm going to just push it so everybody can be in class tomorrow. Whenever I have class coming up, I push it. So you need to buy the course after paying the 3K? No. I don't know where you get that from. The 3K, the 3K is if you have a large amount of credit that you do, okay? And what we'll guarantee you, and I'm gonna ask you to do a video. What we'll guarantee you is that in a month and a half, all your negative items will be removed, all of them. Not only are we rem removing negative items, we're gonna boost your credit score. Not only will we boost your credit score, we're gonna put you in position to get at least one-tenth of a million. That means one out of 10 of a million, that means at least 100 grand. But I don't like to say 100 grand, I like to say one-tenth of a million so you can see, shit, I got nine more to go. Let me not mess this up. Because believe it or not, people get access to the bread and then they do something wild and ridiculous.
Okay. Do you mean if someone has multiple lines of credit and his score is 600 with good payment records, his credit is more valuable? Nah, I don't mean it like that. What I mean is if, <clears throat> definitely not 600, I said 680 for a reason. Someone with a 750 score may not have as much as privilege as someone with a 680 score because that person with the 750, their file is too slim. They may only be paying their light and their gas and their phone bill on time. And sometimes, because that's all you have to offer, that'd be what your credit score is standard is built upon. But another person on another instance, right, they may be playing the game. They may have two different credit cards. They may have balance transfer options. They may also be having the utilities. They may also have a car note. They may also have um, house payments that they're making. They may also have fictions that they added to their report, okay? They may also live in neighborhoods where the median income is over $150,000 a year in highly reputable school districts. So what I want you to understand is when you get when you have more diversity added to your portfolio, it allots you. It allots you more loan credibility. Okay, you may have a, a better history of dealing with creditors. Like for instance, if you if you take out a loan from a bank and you're able to get another loan from the same bank, do you get it? No. What I teach you is never get a loan twice from the same entity because that could lower your credit score. Here's another thing. If you choose to go on a settlement <clears throat> with a creditor, and this is going to learn the course, but let me give you up the game. If you get a settlement from a creditor, make sure you share the video right now. This is where, and let them know. This is where you get some of this free info. Share the video right now. If you get a, what was we about to talk about? Okay. So never get a loan twice from the same creditor. That'll lower your score. You look like a savage, in other words. Okay, this person loaned me $5,000. Now that I got it, I know I'm good with them. No, what they want to know is maybe you knew somebody over there. Maybe you just have a real good relationship with them, and that's good. Can you go somewhere else? And would they trust you? Because if you diversify it, if someone down the block will also trust you as the person on your block, then they say, well, you know, their loan credibility approval goes up. That means we could trust you because different types of entities trust you, not the same entity that trusts you. You may have built a profound relationship with them, but you may only have a relationship with them. So, no, you don't want to do that. Okay? Now we have another thing. If you're going to pay back a debt, let's say you go into settlement, you only settle, that is to say, pay the full amount that's due or whatever you agree to under the pretense that they remove the item completely from your report. Make them send you something in writing. Make them give you confirmation that provided you pay the whole thing, whatever it is, and y'all come to terms to what the whole thing becomes, then ensure, have them ensure you that they will remove it from the report. You do not want the credit for paying any debt back. You never want the credit for paying the debt back. What you want is the fact that you even owed anyone to be removed from the record. You don't even want it to be clear you ever owed anybody anything. So don't protrude your chest and say, yo, I paid these people off. Paying people off and it being on record that you paid people off only confirms that you was negligent in the first place. And it puts you at a disadvantage, lowers your credit score. And even if your credit score goes up, the history of you having to pay someone back, even though you did, doesn't make you look good. It'll be used against you in such a way that you won't be approved for larger lines of credit. It'll always stagnate you. So no, even if you have a 770 credit score, the fact that you paid some debts off and now you're living life and being better as a person that can be loaned money or issued credit cards, they'll never give you the higher amount of money. So you always say, I want everything removed, everything removed from the record. Two, when you make the payment, if you can do it locally, pay it in cash and get a paper receipt or invoice. If you don't pay it in cash, only pay for the debt by way of a prepaid credit card or through a money order. Never pay using your credit card that's tracked to your credit history. Two reasons. Other lending companies or other creditors are more time subsidiaries of a bigger creditor. 
and by you using that card to pay them back, you never know what other credit creditors is getting access to that information and able to see that you have available funds. Whether you know you really need those funds, you don't want to go over your credit card limit is obsolete. You don't want other creditors to find out that you have available funds to pay them because you pay one of their children companies. That's one. <clears throat> okay. Two. You don't want no record of you paying any debts back. So even if you handle your business with someone and the idea is remove this from the report because I don't want no one to know I ever owed you and they agree. When you pay for it with your credit card, even though they won't put it on a report, it's still going to go on record because now your credit card is locked into that history. So you pay with a prepaid or you pay cash if you can do it in person and you get your receipt. You don't pay with your credit card. Here's another thing. If you know, damn, you're going to be behind on your payment, make sure you call the creditor and let them know so it doesn't go on your credit card record. Or if you know it's just something that's going to have you a little overwhelmed, you got a medical bill that's going to hit you pretty, pretty soon, whatever the case is, then what you do, you, you contact TransUnion Sparing and Equifax directly. And you let it be known that you need to freeze your report because you got reason to be suspicious about activity presently going on. You're not too sure, but you're getting everything straight and you need a, a freeze on your account. That's all you got to do. It costs nothing. In some states, it costs $5. In some states, it costs $10 max. So pay TransUnion, Experian, or Equifax nothing, $15 or $30. And you could freeze your report. Imagine if someone told you you could freeze reporting. If you knew you could freeze reporting, then many of you wouldn't have the low credit scores you have now because when you seen it coming, you would have froze credit card, uh, pardon me, you would have froze credit reporting so that way you wouldn't be impacted negatively by the reports. Imagine if someone just told you that. That information is golden. <laughs> this is the free information. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you get the $250 course, you're going to get way more data. But that's golden information. Don't let people try to play you. And act like I ain't giving you up the goods. Because I'm going to tell you, if someone told me early in the game, yo, I could freeze my report in anticipation of negative reports being filed against me. And I could get my life straight and then unfreeze it. When I get everything together and say, okay, y'all can continue reporting. That's a huge advantage. So that's why your score goes down so low. And that's why it's so hard to build it back up. Because you have enough opportunities out there for your score not to go down. So you allow your score to go down. Ignorance is no excuse. So they looking at you like, yo, with all the opportunities that's made available to you to make sure you maintain the integrity of your score and you don't use it, that's not on us. Here's another thing. You're going to go to Check Systems. You're going to contact Check Systems, spelled C-H-E-X. And you want to know if they've been doing any reporting. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Verilyn Brown, thank you. That's worth 250 right there. That's a fact. And with all the people saying that they, they give credit advice for free, because what they do, they like coming on my page and soliciting their stuff. They think they slip. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's robbery. He's charging you this, that. I do it for free. But you do it for free. But how come don't nobody know this information? You should be the credit guru. If you was that good, I would have heard about you. Why am I only hearing about you when you over here down talking me? And, and furthermore, I'm a guy. I like to see people's house. I like to see that you travel. I like to see your car, and I like to see it for not one year, for two years, for three years. I like to see some consistency. I want to see you lit. I want to see you moving with the movers and shakers. That's me. I still got a little nigga activity at heart, and I still want to see you materially gain. Because a lot of the credit people that I see, they look like they're struggling. And I'm just trying to figure out why you look like you're struggling if you got this information, because cash is king, but credit is queen. But anyway, you're going to go to Check Systems. What you're going to do, you're going to contact Check Systems. You can do it online. Give them a call. Hey, uh, I want to see what it is that you've been reporting to all the other bureaus about me. Because Check Systems discloses information about your bank account history. That can be advantageous for people that's making money. Whose income to expense ratio is in compromise. But for the average person... And I say average person, America has a populace of 327 million people, only 150, pardon me, 
America has a populace of 327 million people. Only 5% of them make over $150,000 a year, which means only 5% of them have wealth, because wealth is the ability to invest one-third of your income without compromise. Wealth begins at $150,000 upwards a year. So, 5% of the American populace actually have the ability to amass wealth. Doesn't mean they're wealthy, the ability to amass wealth, because then that's another statistic. Out of the 5% of people that have $150,000, how many of them apply the 50-30-20 principle in retrospect to not compromising the integrity of what? If you're making $150,000 a year, you don't want to compromise the integrity of your income to expense ratio, meaning the more money you make, the more expensive your house, the more expensive your car. You're supposed to be able to invest at least one-third of your monies, and whether you win, lose, or draw, Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. That other hundred grand has you right throughout the year. Okay? So you're supposed to be able to invest one third of your income. One third is supposed to go towards investments. And you're not supposed to be stressed whenever you invest one third of it. You can afford to lose it and get nothing back and still be content. And there's a science behind that. There's a science behind that. Okay. Thanks for sharing the video. Continue to share the video, family. So what happens is you see how you have credit cards and they have a utilization ratio, how you're not supposed to spend more than, I teach you, don't spend more than 15% of what you get from credit cards. People will tell you, don't spend more than 30%. You can spend 30%. But what they don't tell you that 30% is for every line of credit that you have available to you. So let's say your business has a line of credit. Your credit card has a line of credit, and your personal loan is another line of credit. You don't want to use 30% of it in totality. So if I use 8% for one, I have 22% left. I use another 11% for another one, I only have 11% left that I can use from any one of the three. So the 30% is about a combined usage. Now, if I use one credit card, yes, I can use up to 30% on one credit card. But then I shouldn't use none of the other loan monies I have access to. That's how it works. So I teach 15%. There's a reason why I teach that. Okay? And you get two credit cards and you make sure they have balance transfer options. And then people moan and groan, bitch, and complain. Yo, but they charge you for the balance transfer option. Yes, but it, if you use your balance transfer option accordingly, if you use your balance transfer option properly, then what's going to happen is your score will go up. If you use it every month and a half to two months, your score will go up. Because it shows that you're able to exercise conscientious. You, 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 you make more conscientious decisions. Okay? So check systems, what they do, they treat your bank account kind of like a credit card without you knowing. And they look at the amount of money you bring in week to week or month to month and the amount of money you spend. And they treat it like a credit card utilization rate whereby we know we're not supposed to spend all the money that's given to us in a credit card limit. But they have it where you shouldn't be spending all the money you put into your bank account. You should only be spending a percentage of the money you get from your bank account. Now that works for people who are more wealthy whose income to expense ratio is in compromise. But what about you that's living check to check? It makes you look bad. Because if you're only making, let's say, $4,000 a month, and you know you have to spend about $3,500 every month, and you barely have money left over to save, it makes you look bad. So you gotta make it clear, I don't want that to be reported to other agencies because doesn't work to your advantage. People say, well, won't that make you look bad? No, you don't look bad for exercising the legal right to say, well, this thing makes me look bad. And since I have the legal right to say I don't want that to be reported to agencies because it puts me at a disadvantage, then don't report it to agencies. What which would you rather? You think you're being slick by allowing them to report something that <laughs> makes you look bad? Just omit it. <clears throat> That's what it's there for. 
a big part of credit is how is your cognizance? Did you take the time out to study the information that empowers you? Did you take the time out to study the information and realize where the disadvantages are? See, they'll know who's more cognizant and you get graded for that. Because at the end of the day, credit is a class system. Credit is a class system, okay? It's covertly done. So this is how they give privileges to some people over others, through credit. Yes.